Now, my next guests are three celebrity chefs. Oh, they love being called that. And they recently abandoned the salubrious surroundings of their award-winning restaurants to serve food in some very unusual places for a new television series called Gorilla Gourmet. One is restaurateur and regular TV cook. Another has been described as one of the most talented chefs in the world. And the third was awarded his first Michelin star this week. The ladies liked them. Please welcome Kevin Dundon, Kevin Thornton and Dylan McGrath. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. You mess, you mess, you mess, you do you want for Dylan, you, you, your challenge was to serve a nine course meal in the dark. That's yeah. quite the challenge. Did you pick that? Did you want to do that one? No, it started in the restaurant with uh, some black wine glasses that we had. Yeah. And we used to do a thing in the customers to see whether or not it was red or white. And then from that we decided to go with a black restaurant and uh, took three and a half hours. Did you spill anything? No, no, it didn't break a glass. How did you prepare for the challenge? We just practiced, practiced, practiced. Congratulations on your Michelin star, which you uh, won this week. Uh, yes. Was that something you desperately wanted? <laughs> or is that something that you were easygoing about? Come see, no, come no, I wanted it. How yeah. badly? Very badly. It Why? worked very hard. Um, just because I've always cooked at that level and um, I wanted to get one very quickly because I knew that um, well, I, was, I, I was only in there for uh, a year and a half so it was very important that we get one very quick. Okay, and why do you think you got it? They uh, were familiar, I suppose, with me to the terms as I came from London. I'd worked in a lot of Michelin star restaurants and uh, what I was producing was um, definitely at that standard. Okay. So um, they were quite happy to give me one. And are you very passionate about food? Incredibly. Would you describe yourself as a very passionate person? Yes, a little bit mad. A little bit mad in what yeah. sense? Well, I'm just very driven. I've got this um, disease where um, I just like running after things. Would you describe yourself as being a pleasant presence in the kitchen? Uh, no. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. Um, no, I just I, I run the kitchen a certain way where it's run on nervous energy. Okay. And it's my job to create that. Um, but it works. Yeah? You're Fucking tit, Leonardo, you really are. How many times you need to be told that the foie gras mousse is cold? You can't cook that. You have to repeat yourself over and over and over and over. Is and over. that fair, do you think, to very, talk to people very. like that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Leonardo, Leonardo, Leonardo's been with me for over a year, at least. Um, people don't understand on the outside, but he's a very driven young man and he's very talented. But there's no easy way of telling people that when it goes wrong. There's a lot of pressure involved, and it's very important that you get it right, and people improve in that environment. As far as I'm concerned, um, we wanted to travel a very short distance in a very short space of time, and we did that. Um, the staff that, that work for me, I do care about considerably, and they've put their own careers on hold to work with me, but there's no easy way of getting a good standard from them. Perhaps this is the guy with the Michelin star, and I, do, do you have a Michelin star account? I'm not being smart about it, I'm just asking. No, you. no, no. no but I, I'm just, but my point is tactics. Do you have to be that much of a... Of a, of a What's the word I wasn't, I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> Mommy. La language. No, language. no, I wouldn't say that. Do you have to be you, a, a hard taskmaster? <laughs> Mommy, is that you? Uh, I, it, I don't think so. Like, think are you too nice? Well, no, it's not that I'm too nice. I'm actually firm but fair. I think, I think that uh, yeah, but I, I, mean, I worked uh, out work of Ireland. We all produce different things. At the end of the day, like, uh, what I produce takes about between 7 and 10 seconds to get it in front of the customer. And it takes a lot of hands and a lot of push to get it but on sure the plate. But we do too. Right. No, but it's a different product, to be fair. Mm -hmm. My well, kitchen well, is I, I would actually... Uh, it's well, not the afternoon know, uh, show. And we'll say. So what do you mean by it's not the afternoon well, show? Well, I mean, in a sense, like, what, what we're doing is gastronomic and it's from a different place. And he's doing? Well, I don't know. Do well, you tell know? me. You well, then, it's very unfair for you to turn, sit there and actually say, make a comment like that when you've never been well, in mean, Dumbrody House. No, but I've never been in Dumbrody House. But you well, therefore, like, therefore you can't make that comment. Well, <laughs> but have, Kevin, excuse me, Dylan. Kevin, have you been in Dylan's restaurant? I have eaten How was Dylan's. it? It's, it's fine. It's not my style of food. So, I mean, it's... it's, it's <laughs> It, to, to, me, to me, to me, to me, Kevin. I was never there. Did you eat? Did you eat your main? Yeah, but I wasn't in with Kevin. Ke no. Kevin, what do you like in the kitchen? Yeah, I think that I'm very disciplined, and but I think I'm very fair. Hard. But it, very I, I mean, I understand in the sense that because in the kitchen is theatre, right? Imagine. You have something to perform within a short period of time. Are yes. you a celebrity chef? I don't think so. I, I like I've only been cooking on my own for a year and a half, so I don't think. I, no, I don't think I qualify. But then. Uh, I'm on TV at the minute, so... And here's yeah. the turn. So maybe you are so, now. Right, Kevin, yeah. are you a celebrity chef? I would be. I, I, 
I'd be eyes on name in terms of television and what I do in the You'd restaurant. You'd be the classic model of a celebrity chef in that sense, as opposed to something a bit different. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's, it's like, I mean, Don Brody House has won Restaurant of the Year, I don't know how many, many times, Chef of the Year, sure. how many times. I mean, uh, Don Brody is a very high quality. We go after a completely different marketplace. Uh, in terms of mission, and we, we have, you know, we're a red chateau. There's only nine red chateaus in, in Ireland, which encompasses the whole establishment of encompassing the food as well as well as, as the ambience of the hotel. And we made a very commercial decision in terms of our hotel. It's, 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 um, we cater to a wider audience, and I don't, I've never gone after a mission star. Okay, nor I, I want to so. make a, a, a pers extend a personal invitation to Leonardo to come into the audience Leonardo. next week or two to join us here in the audience just for no good reason. Bring and we'll bring him in for a couple of for a night just to say hello and give, yeah. him, give him a bit of love. Now, in the meantime, I give him lots of love. Lots of love. I give him lots I of know, love. I have no doubt about it. I do. It's, thank you and good night. Thank you. Thank you.